it's a little freaky, you know, probably your <laughs> wife might say you're neglecting a little bit. But again, it's an emergency situation. What's up, guys? Jeff and Jeremy here. Another episode of 5-Minute Fatherhood. Here's a fun topic for today, and that is finding a work, or work, I put watch and work together, a work or watch activity <laughs> with your kids for emergencies. Now, this one's really important, and I, and I think we can, I, I don't know about you, Jeremy, when I read that, I don't, I don't think we mean, uh, you know, like if someone's like dying and needs to go to the ER emergency, but just like right. when kind of the house starts to break down, the wife starts to get overwhelmed, it starts to get a little chaotic, you right. need to have a plan because that happens actually pretty frequently. It shouldn't be happening every yeah. week, hopefully, because of rhythms and things like that. But for us, I'd probably say it happens at least once a month, right? Maybe probably twice a month where, uh, and maybe it's not even an emergency, but it's just like, I can start to sense it would be helpful. <laughs> right. Right. And so, yes. and so having like, just, so what you need to, what's really helpful for us is having those things in your back pocket that take no thought and that you don't right. have to think about it. And you like, basically like you just, it's just uh, autopilot. Right. So for us, I think it's yes. like, we go to bubble tea right down the street. It's like two minutes. I mean, you've been <laughs> yes. there that, that little market, yes. you know, down the street by the hotels. We well, just, Hey, let's go get bubble tea. And I get, I, I totally trick the kids. Well, I don't trick them. They know that's what they get. But they get, um, I always get water with boba. So the treat is not the actual bubble tea. It's just the little bubbles. And so it cost me like 75 cents too. So it's an actual great investment. Because <laughs> oh, I, it's like seven. Like three ways. Yeah, it's like $7 <laughs> nice. for a legit boba tea. But they only charge you 75 cents for like a cup of ice and the boba. And I'm like, and that's really, the kids just want the funness of that. And then no sugar. That's a whole other side conversation on how like kids <laughs> are more pleased than you think with little stuff. But, um, yes. but that's ours, right? And so I'll just be like, hey guys, hop in the car, we're going. And then they like it because it's a treat. So they don't like say like, oh, because sometimes like I don't want to leave mom and all that. And then boom, I'm just like, hey, I'll be right back, all that type of stuff. So I think having that is really important. But why would you say why stuff like that? Yeah. So and part part of what I'm trying to figure out here, and this is, you know, if if let's say you need to go, one of the things that came up in our Facebook group is like a dad was saying, I am super busy with work. I'm ups, I'm I work from home. I'm overwhelmed. My wife's overwhelmed. What do I do? Like we're we're in emergency mode. And <clears throat> what I started to talk about was because we had definitely had these seasons before as a family with five kids. And I would, I, I had like, like Jeff just described, I had sort of this, this sort of bunch of places I could go. Yeah, just boom. And, and some of them, and this is again, an emergency situation where it just feels overwhelming, um, was I would, there's places I could go and actually get some work done. It wasn't like, it wasn't a hundred percent focused, but I could actually like, there was a, there was an indoor playground in the mall close to where we were and it was all completely contained. And so I take like a yes. two year old and a four year old yes. and I drop them into this little playground and I open my laptop and I just, and I'd look up every like every two minutes. Okay, everybody's cool. Everybody's cool. It's a little freaky, you know, probably your <laughs> wife might say you're neglecting a little bit, but again, it's emergency situation. When my cousin totally. got a little older, I would do a park. I did parks all the time. I did Chuck E. Cheese. Um, I would take oftentimes like our youngest uh, would be the most work. And so there were all kinds of times where I would just take one of them and I would like literally I go to a restaurant or like like Jeff just said, Boba yeah. Tea, someplace like that. And I would just put them in a high chair. I'd open my laptop. I'd give them food. I'd talk yeah, to them. I'd work, them. talk to them. Yep. I could keep them busy with foods, different things for like a good hour or two, get a lot of work done. I'm just a lot of guys don't do any integration and they, they start to have more kids, more work their wife's burning out and they're like, ah, and, and the answer oftentimes is there's no more hours. And so you yeah. have to have tools in your back pocket for integrating work, sometimes time with your kids and, and work, get through these seasons. And these, again, this is sort of more emergency. I'm very much in favor of like completely having time where you're present and focused. But I also think there is realistically times where you got to get two things done at once. And I think dads yeah. have to figure out how to take uh, the, the kids along with them more often and figure out what combinations really give your wife a huge break, but don't actually interrupt your work a hundred percent, maybe just 20%. And then it works out for everyone. And so we had get through these seasons and Jeff, any other thoughts about the ways that you guys try to, yeah, work I, mean, I wasn't thinking through the work one too. And I think that one's important too. It's like not just emergencies for your wife, but then also for you of like, Hey, I just need to get something done, but the kids are kind of too, in this context, it's not possible. And yeah. so, yeah, I mean, I even think like for me, I'll even sometimes that's when I'll even sometimes bust out a show or something, because I think sometimes we just do shows to veg out when I think a show is a really great tool. So it's like use them in very yeah. specific tactical ways. And so like if Alyssa has to go do something, but I really have to do a phone call or something like that. So I'm just like, hey, and it's a treat for them. I would say that. Yeah. Take him out to a park is a big one. Any type of self can learning those spaces that are kind of like self-contained, yes. kind of self-sustainable are huge. And like kind of almost like writing them down and putting them in your brain for your whole neighborhood and your whole city is really, really important. Important. Yes. <clears throat> and one last tool too is that it's really important to train your oldest child 
to be able to help their yeah. siblings in those contained environments because that'll double <laughs> the amount of yes. focus during these emergency times if not 100% of the of the problems are always coming to you but they're able to start to learn how to help each other work through situations in the park or whatever so um this is sort of a really specific situation but i just think a lot of guys get into this situation and their 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 attitude is they tell their wife i have got to work keep the kids away from me and mm -hmm. then she's burning out that is not the solution oftentimes because you're both going to go down like you've got to find some points of integration for your work and your time with your kids